Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Breaking Top Trump Cabinet Member Just Resigned President Trump announced earlier today that he was going to decide later tonight on Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price's future. Now we know. It's official. Price is out. He has just officially resigned. For ABC News, Tom Price, President Donald Trump's Secretary of Health and Human Services, resigned from his post today after it was revealed that he had repeatedly chartered private planes for government travel. Here's the deal. Price billed the federal government, meaning you and I, the American taxpayer, for at least $400,000 in domestic private chartered flights. That's a big no-no, especially when Donald Trump is your boss. Taking advantage of the American people won't fly on his watch, pun intended. That's not all, though. Price also charged at least $500,000 to take military jets abroad. Not smart. Dang, dude. What were you thinking? Price apologized the other day, saying, I regret the concerns this has raised regarding the use of taxpayer dollars. All of my political career, I've fought for the taxpayers. It is clear to me that in this case, I was not sensitive enough to my concern for the taxpayer. I know as well as anyone that the American people want to know that their hard-earned dollars are being spent wisely by government officials. Too little too late, Tom. Price added that he would reimburse the American people when he apologized, which hopefully he still will. Resigning was absolutely the right call, but Price obviously knew Trump was going to send him packing anyways. Let us know your thoughts on this situation. Are you glad Price resigned? NFL star just gave every American the middle finger, finally admits what we all expected. The Tennessee Titans were one of three NFL teams and refused to even stand on the sidelines while the national anthem was played this past Sunday. It was not only devastating from a patriotic standpoint, but a downright pathetic sight for the fans in the stands to have to endure. Now, Titans tight end Delaney Walker just flipped the bird to every proud American by saying those who are against the protests shouldn't even bother showing up for games. Walker, first off, I'm going to say this, we're not disrespecting the military, the men and women that serve in the army. That's not what it's all about. If you look at most of the guys in here, I've been in the USO. I support the troops. This is not about that. It's about equal rights, and that's all everyone is trying to show, is that we all care about each other. He continues, and the fans that don't want to come to the game? I mean, okay. Bye. I mean, if you feel that's something, we're disrespecting you, don't come to the game. You don't have to. No one's telling you to come to the game. It's your freedom of choice to do that. Titaned cornerback Logan Ryan pretty much echoed Walker's words, saying, that's their choice. That's the beauty of this country, Ryan said. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and everyone's opinion is equal. So right, wrong or indifferent, that's the beauty of this country, that everyone should have equal rights and equal opinions on what they want. If they don't want to watch, that's their choice. That's perfect. P-A-D-H-E-T-I-C. Now we know where some NFL players really stand. Athletes, in all sports, will learn very quickly that if fans don't spend money on games, they won't be so richly rewarded. IT's over Trump just dropped a bombshell on Tom Price that will end him. It looks like President Donald Trump is about done with HHS Secretary Tom Price after it came out he has been spending almost a million dollars in taxpayer money on private jets without even telling the White House. While the president was outside the WH today, he stopped by a group of reporters where he unveiled he would announce his decision on Price later tonight. 
then the president said the same famous lines that came before Bannon, Priebus, and Flynn's firing. He's a very fine man. We're going to make a decision sometime tonight. I certainly don't like the optics. I'm not happy, I can tell you that. I'm not happy. I don't think too many of us are gonna be missing Tom Price. Frankly, he has accomplished pretty much nothing for health and human services, including getting Obamacare dealt with. The president always fires people on Friday afternoons. That's become a very obvious pattern. If you agree with his decision on price, share this out and let him see how the people feel. A federal judge just took one look at Hillary Clinton's email scandal and gave her the worst news of her life. Hillary Clinton just got some more bad news and we couldn't be happier. Conservative watchdog Judicial Watch just won a major court victory a federal judge is going to review the information that was originally redacted from Hillary's Secretary of State emails. And the best part of all? That review will take place on camera. Judicial Watch noted on Thursday. A federal judge will personally review, in camera, redacted material from emails discussing Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's use of iPads and iPhones during her tenure at the State Department. Judge Collar Cotali also ordered the State Department to file an affidavit addressing why it should not have to search new Clinton emails recovered. Judicial Watch filed a lawsuit against the State Department in April 2015 after the State Department failed to respond to a Freedom of Information Act requesting a review of Clinton's emails. Judicial Watch is asking that all records of requests by former Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton or her staff to the State Department Office Security Technology seeking approval for the use of an iPad or iPhone for official government business, and all communications within or between the Office of the Secretary of State, the Executive Secretariat, and the Office of the Secretary and the Office of Security Technology concerning, regarding, or related to the use of unauthorized electronic devices for official government business. Judicial Watch is essentially seeking evidence that shows Hillary Clinton knew using unauthorized electronic devices for her duties as Secretary of State were wrong, which would show a willful defiance of the law as opposed to negligence. Great news for those finally seeking to bring Hillary Clinton to justice, as Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said. Hillary Clinton knowingly used an unsecure email system and risky iPads and smartphones to conduct classified and sensitive government business. Although Fitton added, it is frankly outrageous that Secretary Tyson and Attorney General Sessions allowed their agencies to cover up for and defend Hillary Clinton's scandalous and potentially criminal conduct. You have to wonder how much Tyson and Sessions personally have to do with defending Hillary Clinton, but Fitton definitely gives food for thought share this out so both of the secretaries can see the American people want Hillary Clinton brought to justice as soon as possible. HT Judicial Watch Hell yes! Donald Trump Jr. just defended Melania after liberals do something horrible to her. A Cambridge, Massachusetts librarian rejected a shipment of books from First Lady Melania Trump for their school library. A librarian named Liz Phipps So Aero said that the Dr. Seuss books that the First Lady sent her were racist. It's no surprise to see attitude like this from an Obama supporter. Liz Phipps So Aero. According to CBS News, the librarian above declined books shipped to her by First Lady Melania Trump. Getting an education is perhaps the most important and wondrous opportunity of your young lives, Trump said in the notes passed out with the books. The librarian above wrote an editorial in the local paper calling Dr. Seuss racist. The liberal media said that Melania was racist because of what she said. That's typical liberal. Don Jr. tweeted a picture of Soero in outfit and said, it's almost as if some throw around accusations of racism like a wild card to bolster a stupid argument and score cheap political points. Don Jr. tweeted a picture of Soero in a cat in the hat outfit and said the following. Wham bam! 
That's why you don't mess with Donald Trump Jr. Share this if you are glad that he set the record straight. Dallas Cowboys superstar just made monster announcement about team's anthem plans. It was learned yesterday that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to stand during the playing of the national anthem this coming Sunday. A good move by the organization. Americans have had enough with the disrespect for their country. Now, the Dallas Cowboys have just made their plans very clear. Superstar wide receiver Des Bryant just made it official. America's team is done, yes, done, kneeling. It will happen no more. No more anthem demonstrations for Cowboys, Des Bryant said team will stand with hand over heart Sunday. Said last week was about Trump. Clarence Hill Jr., at Clarence C. Hill Jr., September 29, 2017. Bryant's words, per Sports Day, we're going to stand. We're going to stand and put our hand over our heart and we're going to do what we did before. Y'all know what that was, that was just a response to, President Donald, Trump. That's all that was. Bryant added, I'm going to leave all of that in the past. It is what it is. I'm focused on this week. I don't even want to think about it. I'm done. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, who was torn about kneeling or not with his team last week in Arizona, spoke about put the protest, saying, I'm so appreciative of how the team responded. It was a trying time. Players were truly under pressure, external pressure from their relationships. They were really under pressure to basically in many cases kneel at the flag. Everybody was really thoughtful. It was arduous. It was very telling. Des, for instance, was absolutely torn. He was getting a lot of pressure. H.T., New York Post.